friends, today we're at a beautiful shore in southern New England and I came upon this beautiful patch of wild rose hips. They are amazing. So right now the blooming season, I don't know if you can see those purple flowers, the blooming season is almost over and now the fruit are developing. It's a little too early to harvest them here because they are still kind of yellowish but certain some of them already turning more darker color and pretty soon they're going to be perfect for harvesting. I just don't want to miss a moment because if I'm too late the deer will come before me and harvest everything. Now just um, a word of caution if you're going to harvest this it's preferable that you're wearing gloves and maybe some sort of shears because it's very prickly. This is a rose but it is an amazing source of vitamin C. Yesterday, I had a chance to visit my friend who lives on the coast of southern New England and they have these beautiful rose bushes that completely cover the entire um, beach front so close to the water and they're at the end of the blossom season and they're producing these beautiful beautiful berries rose hips they are amazing and they are bright orange color right now some of them are turning a little bit deeper color and I have harvested some. Aren't they beautiful? So now I need to process them. Now, what can you do with uh, rose hips? Well, there's a lot you can do with rose hips. One is you can make um, puree out of them and store them for the winter. Uh, you can make a fruit roll up, you know, when you make puree and then you dehydrate it and you roll them up like a fruit roll up. And the kids love that because it's nice and sweet and you can add a little bit of sweetener to that. But I will simply dry them. That's all I'm going to be using them for tea in a cold winter month. So now, why do I need rose hips? Let's talk about that. Okay. So I have pulled out several of my herbal books. And they all pretty much say the same thing. One of them is that rose hips go way back. I mean, way, way back. Rose petals been used in cosmetics as um, the symbol of royalty and beauty. I mean, they used as essential oil in perfumes. But rose hips is something a little bit different. Rose hip is jam packed with vitamin C. As a matter of fact, it has 10 times more vitamin C than citrus. It's just that we, what we always run for when we're talking about vitamin C is oranges and that sort of thing. But rose hips contain vitamin C, vitamin A, B1, B2, B3, vitamin K, flavonoids, tannins, and because it has tenants, uh, the infusion of this or uh, a strong tea of this can be helpful for um, diarrhea or upset stomach. It is used to um, remedy rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, anti-inflammatory. It increases, in, increases immune system, helps to fight foreign invaders, and obviously as my vitamin C booster. And that's what I'm going to be preserving. So, um, what do I need to do with these guys? Let's take a look. Okay, so how am I going to preserve them? So, I'm going to take one berry and I need to remove these little, um, I don't know, where the flower, I guess, used to be. So, these little stems I'm going to be removing. And I'm going to be using my kitchen shears, make sure they're nice and clean. Now, if you choose to use this uh, for... Um, puree or syrup or something like that and you choose to remove the seeds these seeds need to be removed okay and some people say they use um, 
and they little like have little hairs on them that are not good for us so some people say they use a knife to pull them out I don't I just use a spoon and that's how I'm going to be okay so I can pull them all out that way if if I choose to take them out okay so I have a lot to do uh, some of them I will not be taking the seed out I'm just gonna be uh, drying them whole just like that in my dehydrator uh, it's gonna take probably about 10 to 12 hours to dehydrate them uh, because they have to be completely dry in order to um, be shelf stable if there's any moisture left in the roast hip um, there's a danger of having mildew growing and then you have to discard the whole batch so we don't want that so I'm going to be um, dehydrating them completely so they're not even leather they're going to be crispy dry hard little nub that's what i'm going to be doing again uh you may choose to wait until um fall months uh and harvest this after the first frost i just know that i'm not going to have that opportunity so i left plenty for the deer and i harvest a little bit for my family because i know the winter is coming so let me show you what the tea looks like using rose hips it's absolutely delicious so rose hips look something like this once they dried these are my rose hips from last season and they're like hard little pebbles so I kept I kept the seeds inside and once they dried they shriveled up to very tiny little ones so sometimes people ask me well I have a rose bush in my front yard by the road why can't I collect the, uh, the fruit from my roses? And you know, I would say if your roses were not sprayed with anything uh, and they're in a clean environmental space, you can go ahead and collect your rose hips from your rose bushes as well. But I have chosen to go to a very clean place, far away from the road, far away from any kind of contamination, and that's where I collected my rose hips. So I'm going to just take a few rose hips I don't know there's about five in here I'm gonna put in my cup by the way I do store all of my herbs in a dark cool place in a pantry far away from the sunlight I have my boiling water okay now this is something that i just wanted to encourage you guys to do when you're making tea it is always good to cover to cover your cup so the um, vapors the steam um, does through the steam you don't lose any of the nutrients that you want to contain in your tea so keep it covered for uh, 15 20 minutes okay let's take a look what it looks like Ooh, look at that beautiful color. It's almost like dark peach color. And it has a very nice aroma, almost like a rosy aroma. So I'm going to take my cup of tea. I'm going to sit in my swing, enjoy the beautiful day that we have today, and get a little bit of vitamin C. So friends, I hope that you are encouraged and try something new because herbal remedies are a wonderful way to treat your family naturally.